And after England's World Cup disappointment, Mike Bushell bounces back with a new version of the game. Looks like it's a knockout, really. Uh, it's Mike, of course, inside a giant inflatable ball. We'll find out why a little later. Uh, body zorbs have become part of the school sports scene in Bristol, so I joined some pupils from the Victoria Park Primary School for one of the strangest matches I've ever played in. Okay, Mike, what you need to do? You're going to put your arms through the straps on the side and hold on to the handles in front. At first, there was a warm-up, a chance to get used to being inside and to see how physically demanding it is. You've got to remember to bend your knees as you fall, because then you've got a better chance of coming back up again. Nice oh. fun game for these guys. Not so fast yet. Off you go. The giant inflatable balls have been given a new mix of life. They're more personal, more physical, and now for the first time they can be used for team sports. <laughs> It's the post! It is a lot of fun and it's very tiring, but this one, you can bring it a lot further. You can actually play team games, uh, you can have small kids involved, they can get themselves in and out. So, uh, they can really do it by themselves. What's more, these balls enable players of different age, ability and size to compete on an equal footing. Even if it did look rather aggressive, sometimes cruel. What? Might have been offered a real game, didn't I? Sometimes when you're playing football, you get tackled in front and you fall on the floor and it can hurt. But in these, you're like, it doesn't hurt when you fall over and yeah, you're like safe enough. It's kind of comfy when you hit someone and you feel really tight. But then when someone comes and hits you, Zuma, you're feeling like really down. But then you get back up and you're all happy. This shot One more! Yes! It was soon 2 0 in an end to end match full of chances and dramatic clearances. It's a good way to keep fit uh, without doing the traditional sports, which in some kids think like doing the traditional sports, which try something like this, keep fit, and actually enjoy their free time is, uh, is excellent. Shoot! Oh, it's safe! Oh. Good five minutes. And once again, these giant balls. Just about got the bigger of me. <sighs> Everyone is literally equal. You're just you're just seeing another huge giant inflatable ball. And that's why it's such a great leveller for people of all standards and abilities. And it really has been successful in Bristol in getting those kids that aren't really interested in sport and traditional sports doing something that improves their fitness and capabilities. So it's really targeting those uh, children in particular that don't particularly like traditional school sports and P lessons there. You couldn't stop them. And what's great is that if I went to play a normal football match with a, a primary school uh, class, I'd have to take it easy, wouldn't I? But what I didn't, did you? When you're in those balls, <laughs> everyone is equal. Have a look. Just have another look at this. No, I, I don't like those, but it doesn't ball. hurt. Look at that. <laughs> But they were doing it to me, and you don't notice people's age or size, because all the, ball, all the balls are the same size, that's the point. You don't notice age or ability, it's, it's a great leveller, and no one got hurt. You were levelled. <laughs> well, well, he was. Mike, thank him. you very much. He got personal. I tell you what, I was more exhausted playing tennis of that than a, a whole 90 minutes of normal football. It's great for fitness and great for bringing those kids in that perhaps uh, are turned off by ordinary sports. Listen, there was a point in that piece where you, you monstered a small child. Oh, I made the <laughs> you point. Ch you charged a, as, a, as the children kid. themselves said, it doesn't hurt. And actually, when you're in those balls, you've got no idea of size, of people's size, ability or age. It's a great level. Here we are. I think, oh, no, this isn't it, actually. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's coming up soon. But the whole point is that I was getting battered, knocked over. And normally, at a normal football match, I would never be allowed to, to go full hell for leather with uh, primary school children. But here, it's a level playing field, and um, I, I could... I, I'm not buying that excuse. Is. I'm not having that at all. No, it's not right. <laughs> it's never right. Uh, Mike, thank you very much. Dan, thank you. Thank you. See you later. Looks bizarre. He's not normally scared of a bit of rough and tumble, so just why is Mighty Mike playing footy in a giant inflatable ball? It was immense fun, but surprisingly physical and exhausting.